My soul rejoices in God, for he has clothed me in the garment of salvation. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Here I am, 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. When young Francis Xavier went to Japan to spread the Christian message, he was fortunate early on to meet the emperor. Among the possessions that Francis Xavier brought before the emperor were a bag of things that he was going to use to teach the people about Jesus and about faith. One of the things was a picture of Mary with her son. And before Francis could speak, the emperor said to him, tell me, about that beautiful lady and her son. The story of Mary is really the story of the church. The story of Mary and of her life is a parallel really of what the church will live and encounter throughout history. John standing at the foot of the cross represents all of us. And Jesus said to his mother from the cross, woman, behold your son. He was asking her to take care of all of us. And he said to John, behold your mother. Mary would be the mother of all those who would follow Jesus from the cross to the resurrection and out into the world. The great events in Mary's life were great events in Jesus' life as well. The Annunciation, when the word was made flesh. Jesus in the temple, astounding the elders with his wisdom the story of changing the water into wine at Cana, Jesus prefiguring the great hour of his own transformation throughout his life, the story of Calvary, the suffering of Jesus with Mary looking on, asking the question of why. When Mary held Jesus when he was taken down from the cross, Mary represented once again the desire of the church in every age to cling and hold the body of Jesus, to recognize him by his wounds and suffering, and so prepare to come as well to the promised resurrection. When from the cross Jesus assigns Mary to be our mother, Jesus asks his mother to accompany us as well. And so in difficulty and in our needs, we look to Mary and pray for her intercession. In what we need and what we suffer, in the loss of people we love, in this time of pandemic, looking for ways to be relieved, looking for solace, people looking for relief from the hard work of caring for others, for those in hospitals, for doctors and nurses, for caregivers, first responders, for all those who look at the suffering and say why, and yet need to be accompanying those who do suffer, we look to Mary as one who can guide us on the way, to be mother for us, to be mother for all we have lost. We pray for Mary today for her insight, for her intercession, for her prayers. We pray that she will always be our mother, that we will always know that we are her daughters and sons. Lord, the Virgin who acknowledged herself to be a servant became the mother of our Redeemer and of those reborn in her Son. Now raised above the angels, she prays for us all, the Queen of mercy and grace. Bless us as we crown the image of Christ and his mother. We confess Christ to the kingdom of creation and call upon Mary, our Queen. May we walk in their likeness and in our
Mary, health of the sick, sign of health, of healing, and of divine hope for the sick. We entrust to you all who are infected with the coronavirus. Mary, Mother of Consolation, who consoles with the Mother's love all who turn to you. We entrust to you all those who have lost loved ones in the pandemic. Mother of Mercy, who embraces all those who call upon your help in their distress. We entrust to you all who are suffering in any way from the pandemic. seat of wisdom, who was so wonderfully filled with the light of truth. We entrust to you all who are working to find a cure to this pandemic. Temptation, but 
Mary, Mother of the Church, you are enthroned as Queen at your Son's right hand. We ask your intercession for the needs of our country, that every desire for good may be blessed and strengthened, that faith may be revived and nourished, hope sustained and enlightened, charity awakened and animated. Guide us, we pray, along the path of holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing and the peace of God be always in your hearts, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.